30 years ago, ICL recognized that people with mental illness were not getting the help they needed to stay in their neighborhoods. Hospitals took them in, released them, and then had to readmit them. Few organizations offered the community supports they needed. Dr. Peter Campanelli founded ICL in 1986, assuming the operations of a 150-bed residential facility in Brooklyn. 30 years later, ICL is transforming its residences into apartments meant for more independent living and improving its facilities so staff and the people we serve walk into a more welcoming environment. Under the present leadership of President and CEO David Woodlock, ICL is seen as a leader in the healthcare field, recognizing the need for integrated care and understanding the deep-seated ramifications that trauma has on people's lives. ICL services help people go from despair and hardship to hope and independence. ICL looks at the whole person and helps each individual determine goals, plans, and a better life. If you would have seen me way back then, I was a complete mess. They handcuffed me. They put me in jail. I saw a sign that said, welcome to hell. And when I got into ICL, they totally turned my life around. When I go outside now, it is a completely different world for me. I see everything during the daylight again, where I never thought that would happen to me. I was totally sleeping during the day and out at night and alone and stranded. I found ICL and they made me the happiest person in the world. You know, I was never really into school. I was never really into it. Um, I cut class a lot, you know. Couldn't really concentrate because I was high half the time. And eventually, you know, got involved in gangs. I was making some really bad decisions, getting in trouble a lot. There's a lot going on at home, you know, a lot of trauma. Then I ended up in the hospital. But some good people at ICL, they were really able to help me out. They were able to give me a helping hand, you know. And one thing that I always wanted to do was art. I always wanted to be an artist. And ICL, they were able to help me go to school at the School of Visual Arts. And eventually they gave me a job. I became a peer specialist. One important thing that the good people at ICL was able to do was listen to me. They really believed in me. Who would have thought back in the day when I was sitting in Bedford Hills Correctional Facility for selling drugs, which I was also using, that I would be in this place I am today. I was released, and upon my release, I went to a shelter, and I, became, and I met ICL. Today, I'm in my own apartment. I'm able to take care of my own health, which I wasn't doing back in the day, obviously, because I was on drugs. I'm also, um, have really been empowered in this program where I'm able to help myself to help others. I learned how to take care of my bills while I was here. I, I do my own shopping. My whole lifestyle has changed since I was in ICL. I'm so thankful for ICL and I'll be 65 years old in eight days. Problems, you think you got problems. Believe you me, I have problems. For example, visiting the doctor was just something that I would never consider doing. Sure, I had aches and pains, but no doctor would be interested in helping the likes of me, or so I thought. I've been with ICL for quite a while now. My case managers worked with me to stabilize my medications and my mental health, but they did even more than that. They noticed the elements I was trying to ignore. With their help, I realized that maybe doctors weren't so bad after all. After all, now I see my internist on a regular basis, and she connects with the people at ICL who are helping me. 
and it all works hand in hand. The medications that I take for my mental illness must work well with those I take for my diabetes and high blood pressure. ICL made me realize that and make sure that all my healthcare providers know and talk to each other. In many ways, you can say that ICL saved my life. I am proud to support ICL for all the work they do on behalf of my constituents. They truly are in the forefront of the issues when it comes to mental health and making sure that our constituents are being serviced. I joined the Borough President securing $750,000 to expand their services in East New York and I look forward to seeing the development of that project. I really want to congratulate you on, 30th, on your 30th year anniversary. And when you look at the success of this borough, people normally look at the beautiful buildings. No one focuses on how we build people to make people better, particularly when they go through traumatic experiences. That's what ICL has done for 30 years. 30 years. If you do the math, you tell you that it was a different New York, a different place, and many of the broken lives found no place that they can put the pieces back together again. This is a modern day fairy tale, not where it's Humpty Dumpty, but everyday people who have fallen apart, no one was there to put them back together again. ICL did it. Congratulations, ICL. 30 years. We would like to see you 30 more, and we will continue to give you the support you need. We're proud of you. Brooklyn is proud of you. Keep doing the things you're doing for families. The road to good health takes more than healthy choices by individuals. It's dependent on partnerships among agencies serving people in need. ICL's partnerships with hospitals, elected officials, community stakeholders, and more make sure that all the people we serve, whether living with mental illness, substance abuse, or developmental disabilities, get the physical and mental health attention they need. These partnerships are the beginning of a new age in the healthcare industry, one in which physical and emotional health issues are no longer seen as separate and unrelated, but rather as integrated and interconnected on a person's journey to health. What's more, ICL services extend beyond individuals to strengthening families, building communities, and creating brighter tomorrows. Life was hard growing up. I feel proud being a father. ICL supports me in everything I do, and my case manager helps me a lot. And everything's gonna be okay. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> When we get home, what you want to eat? Okay, we can eat that.